Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Darrow. We've been looking at excuses used by Moses. Today we're going to look at Exodus chapter 4 verse 1 together. It says, Moses answered, What if they do not believe me? Listen to me and say the Lord did not appear to you. The excuse we're going to think about today is this. When we say, I don't think it will work. God had just finished telling Moses the Israelites will listen to him. He told him that Pharaoh would resist but eventually he brought to his knees that the Egyptians would end up giving the Israelites treasures before they leave and after God said this Moses says in essence I don't think it's going to work. He says what if they do not believe me or listen to me or say the Lord did not appear to you. Moses simply isn't listening. Perhaps Moses has a different scenario in his head. Maybe he's imagined standing before Pharaoh's receptionist and telling that he's been sent by a voice that came out of a bush that was on fire but not being consumed. He knows that everybody is going to think that he is crazy. At least that's what he assumes. The problem was that Moses trusted in his imagination more than he trusted in God's promises. How often do we run through a thousand negative outcomes in our head when we feel called to do something? For example, maybe you see the need for a food kitchen in your town, but when you think about it, you think people won't come. They are too proud to come. The people who would come may be dangerous. You don't have money to buy enough food and so on. Why is it that we seem to trust so much in things instead of trusting in God and taking him at his word. Moses was seeing obstacles while God was pointing out to him the opportunities. He saw the problems but God saw potential. That's the way it is most of the time. We see a minefield ahead of us when we should be watching for the one who knows the way. If God has taken you into a situation that seems too big for you, remember that he is with you and he is Lord over everything. Let's pray together. Oh Father, we are sorry again today at when you call us to do things and we think that we have a better idea or we think that your ideas aren't going to work. When we think that in six days you created everything in this world, that you spoke it just by your word and yet we doubt that you can work in the difficult scenarios that we find ourselves in. Father, help us to be obedient to you, knowing that you will fulfill your word and promises as you always are, that you remain faithful all the time. Father, we thank you again this day and we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen.